Wellspring family, I'm thrilled to announce our new sermon series, which is the book of Philippians. It will begin this Sunday and go through the season of Advent. The tagline for this series is Partnership in the Gospel. Philippians is a book that has many memorable verses like, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, through prayer and petition, present your requests to God. He who began a good work will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And finally, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. These verses are so powerful because they arise out of the central theme of Philippians, which is the gospel. And specifically, Paul's gratitude for the church in Philippi for their partnership in the gospel. This is the theme we will continue to go back to throughout this series. And it comes from chapter one, verses three through five. I thank my God every time I remember you and all my prayers for all of you. I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. At our annual celebration a few weeks ago, we shared six objectives for the coming year. Objective number one, tell of his great work. Where throughout the year, we'll spotlight testimonies from our church family. Objective number two, know the congregation. As our congregation continues to expand, our goal of knowing the flock ensures that our staff remains intimately connected to everyone in our church family. Objective number three, launch three services. Congratulations, it's launched. And thank you for adjusting your schedule to make room for one more. Objective number four, significant upgrades to our facility, both externally and expanding our lobby. Objective number five, plant Redemption Anglican Church, which will be led by Daniel and Ali Coffey, set for Resurrection Sunday, 2024. Lastly, objective number six, the creation of a leadership institute, which will be an educational organization dedicated to recruiting, training, forming, and sending a new generation of occupational church planters, pastors, and missionaries who are rooted in the gospel, formed by the liturgy, and filled by the Spirit. If these six objectives sounds like a lot, it's because it is. The Lord is at work, and we could not even begin to engage these objectives without a partnership in the gospel. It begins with Jesus and the power of His Spirit in us as Christ's body partnering in the gospel. Then it extends to our partners in the city and beyond. We'll discover more of what partnership in the gospel means for all of us, but this Sunday we'll hear from Jason Jans. Some of you are aware that Jason is the CEO and founder of Cross Purpose, which seeks to abolish relational, economic, and spiritual poverty through career and community development. Jason is a husband, a father, and over the past few years, he has become a dear friend of mine. As we begin our series in the partnership in the gospel, I look forward to celebrating what the Lord has already done in this partnership. So join us as we dive into the book of Philippians this Sunday at our services, which are at 8.15, 9.45, and 11.15. Lastly, and most importantly, as we go through this ser uh, sermon series, please be in prayer as we depend upon Jesus for all things. Pray for the Lord to go before us with these six objectives. Because unless the Lord builds the house, we labor in vain. Wellspring, thank you for your partnership in the gospel. And on behalf of our whole staff team, we are so grateful for each of you. See you on Sunday.